quick video of my new 22 liter pressure washer. This is the initial test. It is a Sudoku, Sudui, I don't know how to say that. S D K E H U I. Sudukia or something. Anyways, 22 liters. I put in five gallons of water, a little bit over full, but each gallon of water from the bottom was about an inch. But the basket sits off the bottom and there's still, hard to see on clear water, but over four inches of water with five gallons in it but it is up high it's only supposed to be up to that ledge so i'd say about four and a half gallons all it'll hold even though it's 22 liters which is 5.8 gallons so anyways four and a half gallons in there i plugged it in i set the temperature for 80 degrees celsius there is no fahrenheit here currently the water sitting at 14 degrees at idle, it's pulling 1.34 watts, 3334. And I'm gonna turn the heater on and see how long it takes to heat five gallons of water to 80 degrees. It's supposed to have a 600 watt heater. We're gonna find that out right now. Put this, turn this on. Okay, the light shows that it's on. It's pulling 540, almost seven. 540, well, 550. Well, I guess I'll let it heat up for a couple minutes here, but 551 watts, roughly, 550. And uh, time is 7.04 p.m. right now. So I'm going to turn this off. But before I do, I want to show you some of the accessories that came with it. Came with a lid, of course. That I should put the lid on there to do all I can to hold the heat in there. It came with some... Natural latex gloves and a microfiber towel. It also has a little mesh t ball thing in there that you could put small parts in or carburetor jets or something. But you really don't need that because you can put uh, small items in a plastic jar like peanut butter or glass is supposedly better because the ultrasonic waves can go through glass easier than plastic but you don't really need that little basket you can just put the parts in a container throw that in the power washer in fact that's a big uh, I don't call it hack but a great idea instead of using four and a half gallons worth of solution cleaning solution you put straight water in there you put your cleaning solution in a container glass or plastic throw that in there with the parts in it and the solution in it of course and then uh, the small amount of cleaning solutions easy to clean up and cheap all you're doing is using regular water but I yacked it long enough. Let's see, we're at 552 watts. That hasn't gone up a degree yet. It's 7.06 p.m. So I'll come back later. Bye. Okay, first 10 minute update. Still hasn't gone up a degree Celsius yet. It's sitting at 14 Celsius. Pulling 548 watts. And the reason I'm doing this 
is some people complain it takes a long time to heat up five gallons of water. Uh, this is a bigger power washer. Most people get like, I'd say a 10 liter, which would be roughly that big. Actually, they're shaped this way. 15 liter would be kind of like a square here. And this is a 22. But five gallons of water, it's going to take a long time to heat up, even with 550 watts. But I'm also going to try this. It's a merciful water heater. Supposedly 2,000 watts. I kind of doubt that. We'll find out. It's just a tube. In fact, it's still here in the package. I haven't opened it yet. And I'll plop this in and see how long it takes this thing to heat up five gallons of water. These are supposed to be a lot faster than that. And uh, we'll find out. I'll be back. I'll probably try 10 minute intervals to see how long it takes to get up there. Bye. Okay, 20 minutes in. We went up one degree. 554 watts. 555. That's been pretty consistent. So we got one degree Celsius, 20 minutes. Be back in 10 more. All right, 30 minute check. Three degrees Celsius increase. That's a timer for the ultrasonic part. I haven't even set that yet. Right now we're just seeing how long this number takes to get up to that number. 17 degrees Celsius inside. That's the water temperature. Be back in 10 more minutes. About a 40 minute run so far. We're up to 19 degrees Celsius. Five degrees, 40 minutes. Seems pretty slow. This 2000 watt tube heater is supposed to heat five gallons in about 25 minutes. So I'll be testing this thing next. Be back in 10 minutes. 7.54, 50 minutes, 21 Celsius. That's only, what, a 7 degree rise in 50 minutes. I'll check back in 10 more for the one hour update. One hour update. We're at 25 degrees Celsius, which is about 77 Fahrenheit. Water's warm, you can hold your hand in it, no problem. Still pulling about 550 watts. And let's see, 100, what is that? Oh, it's volts, okay. 59 minutes that this was on. So maybe it's not quite an hour update. 0 0.51 kilowatts. Well, if it's pulling 550 an hour, that would be 0.55 kilowatts. So, well, that says 0.51, but still, it's been going an hour, and it's only gone up 11 degrees Celsius. I can agree with everybody on the internet saying these things are really slow to heat up. I'm sure if you took your stove one of those big giant three gallon soup pots. You could uh, boil the water, and dump it in there quicker than an hour. So uh, I'm gonna give this thing, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or a half hour before I update again. See you later, bye.
Okay, hour and 20 minute update. 31 Celsius. Water's kind of hot, but I can still hold my fingers in there. I don't know if I'm going to let this thing go all the way up to 80. It's just taking way too long. I think there's some better alternatives to heating the water than relying on that 557 watt element. Uh, I'll probably come back another 20 minutes or so. These 10 minute or those 10 minute updates I was doing is, uh, it's getting boring. Bye. Our 40 minute update, 38 Celsius really slow one hour and 50 minutes up to 42 degrees now the water is pretty hot now i, I don't want to hold my hand in there but it's nowhere near the 80 it's just over halfway there i might just end this test at two hours because two hours is way too long to wait for water to heat up we'll see okay it's been about an hour hour and a minute that says that it's been 119 minutes so i don't know which is right but we'll go by this 119 minutes almost two hours 1.07 kilowatts Drawn 550 watts, 45 degrees. I'm going to stop this. I mean, 45 degrees is pretty hot. I don't want to hold my hand in there. I don't know what that is in uh, Fahrenheit, but... Um, I'm just going to have to agree. This, these things take way too long to heat up. You're much further off boiling water or using an electric kettle or something. But tomorrow, I'm going to try this 2,000-watt heater. I'm going to let that cool off all night. Put this in there and see, because this is supposed to heat it up about that temperature in 25 minutes. And we've been at this for two hours. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.